In the latest act of escalating tension in the Taiwan Strait, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense reported tracking a significant Chinese military presence near its territory. It wrote on X that... Since yesterday, various types of PLA aircraft, helicopters and drones have been detected, along with amphibious ships and roll-on-slash-roll-off cargo vessels loading ground forces, conducting joint landing drills near Dacheng Bay, Dongshan, Fujian. We have monitored the situation. A similar activity was also reported by Taiwan was reported on Tuesday, when the Taiwanese military observed 13 Chinese military aircraft, eight naval vessels, and two official ships operating in the vicinity of the island. According to the MND, seven of the aircraft breached the median line of the Taiwan Strait, entering Taiwan's southwestern and eastern air defense identification zone. In response, Taiwan swiftly deployed its own aircraft and naval vessels and activated coastal-based missile systems to closely monitor the situation. The MND stated via X that 13 PLA aircraft, eight planned vessels and two official ships operating around Taiwan were detected up until 6 a.m. UTC plus 8 today. Seven of the aircraft crossed the median line and entered Taiwan's southwestern and eastern ADIS. We have monitored the situation and responded accordingly. This latest incursion marks a continuation of China's increasingly aggressive posture towards Taiwan, with repeated air and naval operations near the island becoming a common occurrence. Since September 2020, China's use of grey zone tactics, measures that stop short of full-scale warfare, has seen a marked increase involving regular violations of Taiwan's airspace and waters. These tactics are part of a broader strategy aimed at applying pressure on Taiwan without triggering a direct military confrontation. Grey zone tactics, according to a report by Taiwan News, are defined as an effort or series of efforts beyond steady state deterrence and assurance that attempts to achieve one's security objectives without resort to direct and sizable use of force. Amid this backdrop, Taiwanese President Lai ching te has spoken out against China's ambitions, asserting that Beijing's drive to annex Taiwan is not purely about territorial claims. On September 1st, Lai stated that China's ultimate goal is to transform the rules-based global order and achieve hegemony rather than to secure its territorial integrity.